Welcome to Small Steps. My name is Seth Potts and I want to show you how to reference the last cell in a column. So there are a lot of times that we have data that we are uh, compiling ourselves. We're just adding to a list here um, row by row um, or sometimes you copy and paste data in from somewhere. Uh, if this, this data is constantly changing so the amount of rows is not consistent. So if we're one, wanting to look at the most recent thing um, added in, let's say in this case we're just going to be looking at a couple uh, the report date, case number, um, any other data is, is not really relevant relevant for what we're looking for here, but just to show an example of data you might get uh, pulled in. So in a case like this, um, it's a long list, things keep getting added to it, so um, the very bottom is going to be the most recent report date and the most recent case number. I don't want to always have to scroll down to that. Um, if this is going to be something I have like a dashboard or anything on, it might not even be on the same page, but I can just have a quick reference to what those items are. Uh, no matter how they change, so it's not going to be, uh, I'm not going to be stuck trying to reference, you know, the latest things always on A50, A60, things like that. Uh, however that moves, this will capture the very last cell that's, uh, that's not blank. So two different uh, formulas I found to do that, and this is a perfect example of you don't necessarily have to know exactly how it works. Um, I would never be able to come up with this myself uh, on this one in particular, but I have tested it out and know that it works. Um, it's just a couple little parts to it. I think the two means that it looks right to left instead of left to right, or in our case, bottom to top. And uh, it's basically showing the, the range we're looking for, anything that's not blank. And I think when it does the one uh, divided by, it's, it's looking for making basically making a true or false, because it's either going to be a one or zero um, as a result. And it's basically looking for anything that is not blank, looking from bottom to top. Um, and, and returning that result of what's in that cell. Um, like I said, I would not have come up with this myself, but it, it does uh, work here. So we'll start with that. Um, we're going to start with that lookup. And then, like I said, the two gives you the right to left. And then the rest we're just going to put in as it shows there. And um, that is the column we're looking at as A for this one. Everything in A, and the symbols mean that it is not, uh, not like, not blank. And then the return, same thing. We want what is written in that uh, cell, looking from bottom to top. The first thing in this column, looking from bottom to top, that is not blank. That's going to give us the last thing there. So, um, 6, 26, 23. So, you see this is just kind of the whole month of June, and you get a list like this. It could be fairly lengthy, but yeah, I'll scroll down here. You see that is the last one on there, and then the case number is going to be the same. Um, we're going to do that. In fact, I'm just going to drag that over, and it will give me that number. Now, I have these formatted um, already, so this was formatted as a date. Sometimes that will populate as a number, and you'd have to change the formatting. So, um, and the same for same for this here. So that is pulling the last case number as well. You see the only difference when I did uh, did that and just pulled that over is the exact same formula except I changed that A column to the B column um, and that's how we got that. Now this other one um, works just the same as far as I can tell but it is index. Uh, index is just another thing that references a cell, an intersection, or a particular row in a column in a given range. So it does the same type of thing. Sometimes there's multiple ways to do uh, something. So this one, uh, we're picking the array. So same type of thing. We're picking that column we're looking at. And um, for the sec second portion here, what we're doing is a count A, which counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So it does it the same thing, basically. And then um, it's looking at that range that we want to uh, be counting that for. And close up parentheses there. So just like it is listed over here, index. And you see it pulls back the same thing. Same type of thing. We'll pull this over here. Gives the same information. Same type of thing. It's just the uh, only difference being that column that we're looking at there. So um, like I say, this is something it's coming pretty handy for me when uh, I have data that, that constantly changes and I have a dashboard or something and I, I want that most recent information just in a quick reference. Um, this is also something you could plug into other formulas. So uh, use your imagination. You ever come up with anything and instead of referencing a specific cell, you just want it to constantly get the last cell out of a column. Uh, use either, the, either of these and it will give you the results you're looking for. 
If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, click like and subscribe. The next video coming up is going to be over the repeat function to create an incel bar chart.